Crafter Geek here uh, with instructions on how I assembled and inserted the musical element into my daughter's Trolls Party's invitation. Um, I printed the invitations on a 65 pound cardstock, which I found worked really well for this application, uh, onto my uh, with a dedicated graphics printer. Uh, I did two different, instead of back, front to back, I printed them on two different sheets. The reason for this is because you want to put your el uh, musical element in between the two so it's not showing. Uh, the first step, and this is really not necessary, but if you have the means, it's really nice, is to score the cards. And scoring gives you that little crease that is in the center of the card that helps you fold it really neatly. Uh, if you have a paper cutter that has interchangeable blades, uh, they most likely have a scoring uh, element for that. And what I'm going to do is, I know this is an 11 inch card, and I'm gonna score it exactly in half, so to five and a half inches. And then just press down, and that adds the nice little score to it so I can fold it. Uh, a little tip is normally if you had a one uh, sheet, you actually would normally score the invitation so that the front overlaps the back just slightly about that much. You'll notice this if you look at a greeting card, uh, and that's the traditional way to score, but I need one, mine right in the middle because I'm going to uh, cut it all together. Now. With your Big Dog Slider, they have actually incredibly great instructions on their own website. Uh, a couple tips I learned, especially that I have the element of the pop-up, is that you need to get the center where you line it up with the scoring of the card exactly in the center because I have the pop-up element in between. It's not going to close completely all the way because I have that extra bulk inside. So I had to make sure that they are completely on, completely in the center. Now, the other tip I learned is once you know that you have the music recorded, and I just checked this one to make sure the music is recorded, cut off the recording button. Um, the first one I tried, I kept hitting the recording button and recording over my recording of the Trolls song and had to re-record it again. So once you know that it's perfect in the way you want it, just go ahead and cut that off and that way you can't erase over it. So the entire, there it goes, the entire element is on a sticker and you just peel it off the sticker and then it's going to go off a million times. I'm very carefully placing that slider, those notches, over the scoring of my card. Sticking it down, and then you can test. Once you close the card, it's not working. Once you open it, it works. Now, while it's going off a million times, I will show you. Uh, all I did was, I actually found that the craft glue sticks from Elmer's did an amazing job on this. So I'm going to glue entire inside of the card and then line up where I have the greeting information and I'm just leaning up where, uh, matching up where it scores. and gluing it completely down. Uh, I've got a little bit of bulk in there, but again, because it's a pop-up card, it's slightly different from a normal musical greeting card where you might be able to design it to where there's a, uh, a piece of paper going over it, hiding the bulk. Uh, but this is the basic, uh, pre-trimmed. I'm gonna be trimming it later, but that is your basic card.